Good afternoon. Yes, there we go. All right, making sure we're going. Um, welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. This is... No, I'm jumping ahead. Let me start with the right thing. I'm, a be- <laughs> I'm Welcome. I'm best-selling author, best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm attempting to get this out. Clearly, a bit, a bit rushed into that one. So, um, first of all, if you haven't seen my broadcast before... I do this every day, and in which case I want to say thank you to all the love and support and the, well, first of all, just say love and support all along the way, but especially when I posted yesterday or the day before about that I'd hit my, my first year of doing these 365 in a row, um, the love that, uh, that poured out was, was almost overwhelming. So thank you for all the appreciation and the caring that came through. That was um, humbling, to say the least. But since there's some, not, not about and because there's so much stuff to talk about relationships, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so this is number 367. Um, and these are called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. I am a passionate champion of the Divine Feminine, so I love talking about this stuff. And some of these topics are not gender or polarity specific, and this one is not one of those. Um, this is basically um, relationships are not a cakewalk, basically. I'm not saying it's necessarily hard, but they're work. And being in a relationship, a conscious relationship, is work. And if you're not willing to do the work, don't sign up. I mean, being that that simple about it. And so I want want to give you some points about it and also give you some inspiration because I don't want to leave you going, oh, it's too much work, I don't want to do it. It's like, it's not about that. A healthy, conscious, committed relationship is not somewhere you arrive and you are then done. A conscious, healthy awakened relationship is a place that you actually are active you're participating you're on the journey um, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning um, over at Agape and she was celebrating she and her husband were celebrating their 29th anniversary I didn't think she was that old to be honest um, but it was a, we talked about it and I said this the title I was going to use today and she was laughing ahead I said yeah absolutely it's about the work because it's not always it's not easy some parts of it are easy but to stay in a committed relationship requires doing the work and it, it it amazes me where people just, people in general, people in particular, not you, but people out there, will choose a relationship, shouldn't they, why don't they choose a relationship? They'll fall into a relationship without any choosing. They just show up in one and they go, this will do. And they cruise along the rest of their lives. Those people are usually not very conscious, to be totally transparent. People who are awake, aware, growing, conscious, are tending to be ones who are questioning status quo, who are opening up to more of life, who are looking at their own experience, their own life, and seeing where they can improve, and are doing something about it. And when you put that into a relationship, and both partners are doing that, that is an amazing place to play. For some people, I'll say this, for some people, choosing to be on that path of growth, of learning, of, of becoming more of themselves is a way of life, not just waiting when they're in the relationship. Because there are some people who wait to in a relationship and then life is forced upon them. Growth is forced upon them. And they suddenly become aware that things aren't where they were and things aren't status quo as it was and they want to do something different. As they go, this relationship is forcing me to look at myself because it will do that. So I'm going to start growing. I have a tip for you, by the way. Don't wait until you're, you're in a relationship. If you're single, is a perfect time to start looking in the mirror and seeing yourself and reflecting on your life and making some changes to be more of a a better person, if you want to put it that way. Because the worst, again, and I've talked about this, I've talked about this parallel before, that not only will it make you a more um, comfortable participant in a relationship because you'll already be doing the work to grow, become more yourself, become more aware, etc., etc., you'll also be more attractive to somebody looking for that too because you're already doing the work. It's a win-win. I did talk about this yesterday. Not this topic, but something similar in the parallel of this win-win-win scenario. Apparently it's in my vernacular lately. There's something I want to say and there's a piece in there that's coming through. And it's really about I'm sorry, I'm just watching how to put that into... An, into I'm, I'm looking at how to articulate this. This idea's coming through. I'm like, how do I say this? I 
well, this is one piece that's coming through. That's why I was getting it's two at once. So this is the first one that's coming through. Excuse my uh, <laughs> processing in front of you. One part of this is that relationship, as I said before at the beginning, is not a destination. It's not a place to be. Because for some people looking at a being in partnership, all the work they put in is to get there, to get that partner, to get in a relationship, to get hooked up. And once the wedding bells have, have gone quiet and the echoes have died away and the wedding gifts have been put away and the honeymoon's over, they're like, put their feet up, cross their arms and go, okay, I'm done. There are people I know who've done that and I've seen the divorce rate because of that. Um, it doesn't work that way. And if you want to do that, I hope you find a partner who doesn't care either, and you can cruise that way. But frankly, if you're somebody who's been watching my videos, you know, <laughs> you know, there's lots of relationships, a lot to the a lot to the journey that is not something you can just ignore. It isn't, and the choice about being a relationship, it's almost like once the wedding bells have gone silent, and once the wedding gifts have been put away, and the honeymoon's over. That's when it's like, okay, let's, well, for most of it's let's continue, but some people like, let's start going deep and doing something to make this relationship magical and wonderful and magnificent. Because for a lot of people I know, especially the ones that have done my program, the ones that talk about with this, creating the vision of what they want in a relationship, will have qualities in that relationship list of magical, of wonderful, of rewarding, of satisfying, of fulfilling, of exciting, all these different things. You can't have those things if you're just asleep at the wheel. There's a requirement on you, if you want those things, to help participate and make the things happen. You're not a passenger or a... Um, I'll put it another way. You're not a spectator if you're looking to have a relationship that works. Truth. Well, not truth. This is true. This is true. The option you have is to have an awake relationship or a sleep relationship or an asleep relationship. And if you're watching my videos, I'm pretty sure you don't want one of those sleeping ones. You want to be one that's awake and awakened and inspired. And the funny thing is when you say you want that, you have to be that. And this is the challenge that a lot of people face is they're not willing to do the work up front. I've... I, Yesterday I posted a, um, a little blunt statement to my audience, to those people who have been watching my broadcast and have been following me online for a while, that if you're not doing, no, reframe it, if you're not participating in, in trainings, in workshops, in coaching, in growth, that is transforming your life into being what it's meant to be so you can really enjoy yourself, if you're not taking steps to become a better partner, so when you are in a relationship, you have what you want, then you're never going to get that. It's the um, painful but simple truth. And so, well, if you've ever seen my, if you've seen my broadcast over the last several months, I certainly do provide lots of homework to keep you busy, which will definitely put you on the path of growth and awareness. Um, but I mean, if I just go one step beyond that, I'm inviting you to get some help from somebody. I mean, I'm obviously recommending myself, but I definitely suggest strongly that you choose. Thank you, Karen, exactly. Be better, get better. Thank you, perfectly put, thank you. Um, if you're not seeking help from somebody, whether it's a program, a, um, a course of study, a coach, um, seminars, trainings and such that will help you improve your life and make you a better partner, you were missing out. I said that already. So I'll come back to the, the second part of that, which is I invite you to seek out somebody, something like that. In my case, I do offer a discovery session as my gift before we do anything, is we actually have a conversation by phone. It's a 30 minute conversation or it can be in person if you're local. And we'll talk. Basically where you'll tell me where you are, what you're looking for, and I can tell you how I can help you. And also give you some clues, some keys, and some steps to get you going in that path. That's a gift. After that, you pay. <laughs> but find somebody some path some way to start growing now don't wait for the relationship to start 
better off that you're already doing this work so when you're in a relationship you invite that to happen with you it's almost like you're going in a destination towards a goal of being a more amazing person and you invite the person who's in the relationship to join you to do the same thing so better off that you're already doing that because you'll find somebody's also doing that and you can have an amazing relationship i think that makes sense how do you get that by the way that that offering i was offering you um simple uh, way of doing it is go to my website or I can just tell you go to barryselby.com forward slash chat that simple um you can find on my website which is barryselby.com and you can peruse all my stuff that's on there my programs and my coaching and other things too um or you can watch it all 366 of my previous broadcasts because they'll help you as well this is um my daily broadcast which i mentioned this is called message for the masculine to inspire the feminine heart and these do live on my business page on facebook which is on facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author you can also see them on the, my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, um, the channel and Messages for the Masculine, the playlist. And there's a lot of content there designed to help you. Over a year's worth now, and there's more coming. I've already got another couple of topics brewing because there's a lot to talk about in this area. This is just a lightweight one, really, you know, because it's not a particular, it's, it's more overarching. So I'm giving you some hints, broad strokes. I would suggest watching yesterday's broadcast. That was about um, having healthy boundaries because most people don't. Um, that will teach you a little bit more than I've talked before about the level of self-support, self-approval you can definitely get going. Um, and there's more coming too. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Thanks for being with me as always. Any questions or comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond to them after I sign off. And if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. Um, have a, this is Sunday, by the way. It's the casual wear. Have a wonderful Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend before the, the work be week begins tomorrow. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm here to help. All right? Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.